thing to kind of land it um, is just what is a word of advice you'd give to someone pursuing full-time ministry and music in the church? Well, um, I, I wouldn't have the wisdom to know really anything that would be of value to them, but I can copy what other, if other people say. Um, um, uh, the man who introduced Kristen and I is called Professor John Lennox, and he was a student of C.S. Lewis's, and um, he in turn was challenged to become a pastor and became a mathematician. And like Lewis, ended up having a much greater influence um, in the church and in the Christian world, or at least I would imagine had a much greater influence um, because of the, the path he chose. Um, but the secret he always says is, make sure your, fa your faith is growing faster than the fastest part of your business, of your work. You know what I mean? So, so that that to me is a challenge because I know right now I just know. But it's, that's the measuring stick. So I think that's the foremost thing is, and it's a good way of measuring what is the what is what is actually first in our hearts. What is the what is the what is the goal of our lives? What is are we actually taking up this cross? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And if we're doing that, that, that that's a helpful measuring stick. So I think that's the first thing. Um, and the second thing I would say is 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 music as a music like being a pastor is a peculiar choice. It is almost certain, but not definite, but it's almost certain you will earn less money in the work you're in, you will have more hassle in the work you're in, you will have more difficult hours in the work you're in, and it will be harder to build patterns, you know, in terms of, you know, all the people who, people who understand what you do as much, blah, blah, blah. So there are several downsides, which in the long term, the upsides, like getting to play music and getting to perform and stuff, don't really make up for. So. I say all those things to say, be very, very sure that there's nothing else you want to do before you do it. Um, I tend to look at everything going, how, how will this look in 30, 50 years? And, and when, I, when I meet musicians over 50, there's not a lot of particularly happy musicians. You know, and that's a sad thing. You know, I, I know several, and I, I, I hang around them, I, I stick to them like glue, because you know, I want that joy that they have all the time. And so, so that's, that, that's a great thing. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, I think that's going to be so helpful. And thanks so much for taking time out of this crazy schedule. That's a pleasure.